Hello YouTubers, this month I'm going to be doing a collaboration with our group over at My Creative Year to start the year off. The teachers there will be producing some art that represents what they do and I'll be doing that also. So let's have a look at what I'm going to be doing this time round. I've been challenged to produce some miniatures. These are about two inches in size or 50 millimeters. Uh, I've got to do one for every one of the teachers so that we can all have like a keepsake. So that's the challenge I'm going to be doing and I'll be showing you briefly how to do these little miniature watercolours they're not easy because I haven't got very many small brushes I tend to work fairly large so let's have a look at that process then and uh, the group is welcome for every type of artist so I'll put some information in the bottom of the uh, info section uh, that will help you to link to it so enjoy the video Right, let's just briefly look at the equipment that I'm going to use. It's a watercolour painting that I'm doing. So these are my White Knights set. They're a professional watercolour. They have some lovely vibrant colours. And I've put these together from various different sources. Although you can get a set that's similar to this. So that's my watercolours that I'm using. I've got my pencil and my rubber to draw up everything that I need to draw. I've got this brush here to uh, use as a mop, although it's going to be quite large, that on the uh, two inch size image. And then we've got my two detailing brushes. So not an awful lot of equipment there, but we'll, uh, we'll see how we get on. We might have to add other brushes. We may not use those brushes but that's what I'm assuming we're going to use. The paper I'm using today is uh, Heinmuller their anniversary paper. I use this quite regularly it's a very consistent paper and most of the work I've done with it is worked very well so it's a, a strange weight it's 425 grams or 225 pounds it doesn't say on it exactly uh, whether it's a, a rough or a knot or a smooth but I would say it's round about a knot this but I might be wrong on that it's an acid free paper as you'd expect from a good quality paper and I just like using it it, it really is a good workhorse for me here is our artwork I've already drawn some of the squares out and I'm going to put a, a, a tiny trim around the edge of it I've got one done as you can see uh, that one will be the one that I will be keeping uh, as part of my piece of uh, artwork uh, the others uh, for my friends at the my creative year group I'm going to zoom into uh, one of the blocks so we can get a, a much better view of what we're going to be doing so we're zoomed in and we're ready to go so let's start painting I'll be doing this in time lapse to save a lot of time
Well, that's the first watercolour done, or the second watercolour done. What I'm going to do is finish the rest of the paintings off, off camera, because they do take quite a while. But I hope that I've been able to show you a little bit of the process of watercolouring, especially in miniature, which is something I don't do an awful lot. But we'll get back to you in a short while with our uh, final end pieces of artwork. So I've got the pictures done now and what I want to do with them before I cut them out is round the outer edges I'm going to add some gold leaf this uh, stuff and I'll be using the um, specialist sizing uh, chemical to adhere it to the outer edge so it's got a bit of a gold trim and then once that's done we'll adhere that to a piece of thick hard card what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this brush here it's a, a sign writing brush it's pretty much similar to a, a rigger but it's got an, a really long uh, brush end on it so I, I'm going to do that uh, and I'm going to put the sizing all the way around that and I'll just do it with one because it'll take a while for me to get all of these done so we'll dip it in the size you have to you have to be generous with this if you need to use masking tape to do this by all means do it so I'm just making sure that I'm not I'm be really generous with it because sometimes it just don't fix to the to the paper if you don't do it so there you go that's I don't know if you can actually see that so what I'm going to do is uh, zoom in a bit we'll now continue on putting the size in round the edges of this picture now we've got a image that you can actually see and hopefully you'll see that I'm I'm being quite generous with it it doesn't really matter if it if it goes over a little bit because you can have a little bit of a ragged edge why not so we'll, we'll do this last uh, bit here but we will have to leave it now to dry out for a short while I think it's around about 20 minutes normally don't be tempted to put the gold leaf directly on it now you must wait until it's dry so it's easier to handle the particular painting that we're dealing with I'm just going to uh, cut the particular painting out so we can deal with that rather than having to deal with a block right we can much more easily deal with that it should be mostly dry now so this is where I'm going to bring my gold leaf in some pebio flakes it's not the full big square that you get but this will do sprinkle it all over the make sure I get it there you go I know that's a lot but it's okay because we're gonna take that now and see if we can get the majority of it back in without it
There we go. Right. Okay, let's see if we can get rid of Sometimes you may need uh, several runs over this with gold leaf. But it's starting to adhere to it. It's ta starting to take shape. Uh, I might need... A couple uh, more runs over it to make it solid but uh, that's basically what I'm gonna do with it now we're gonna cut out the outer edge of the two inch plus the little outer edge uh, section to neaten it up on the outside and then it'll be added to the background board so, me personally, when I'm doing stuff like this, I, I like to use a knife. I find scissors a bit cumbersome sometimes. So, obviously, always be careful if you're going to use a knife like this. Don't try forcing it. Several cuts. Make sure that you're cutting the right place. That should come away nice with that. There you go. And the last one here. Always nice and steady. There you go. Although the gold is so, I'll, I'll flick it like that so you can see it's obviously metallic, but uh, that is the finished piece of art before we put it onto a background piece of board to strengthen it. Uh, there's a reason why, obviously, that I'm going to be doing that, and I'll show you later. For the next part of the process we're going to use this PVA glue to bond the picture to a piece of hard card. This is what's left of a, a watercolour pad and it's reasonably thick and yeah it's, this will be great right, for it. See if we can use the picture as a template to know where we're going to cut out the the block so i'm going to get that as tight as i can to the edge there and just put marks in roughly where i need it right hopefully that area there uh, will be the same as the image we'll cut that out and bond it to that let's see if we can put the first cut in this way remember if you're using a knife like this nice and steady hopefully that has yeah that's gone through now so let's turn it around to a, an angle that and again I'm and there you go right can get that out of the way it's just a matter of bonding these two now 
Let's see if I can remember where which way up it goes. Yeah, that'll be like that. Right, it's gluing time. So I'm going to apply glue to this and the back of that. So they've both got glue on them. Want a nice even coat on this. I don't want too much on the paper side of things. I just want a, a light once over. So that's that. Make sure that it's the edges. I want to make sure that I've got plenty on. All right. Make sure that's clear. I'm just going to give this a once over, really, because I don't want this bending like it can do when you get glue on it making sure that you've got at least some glue on it right What you need now is some heavy weights to sit down on it. See if we can get these bulldog clips to So what I'll do is I'll leave that for 24 hours and let it let it dry. Right, as you can see, I've completed the um, the first one uh, that has been mounted onto the board. All I really need to do now is uh, finish off the others and make sure that they're protected because they're not going behind glass so I'm going to be putting this um, this varnish on it so that's really all that's left to be done on this project and we'll leave it at that at this moment in time so that's been the project collaboration that we've been having a look at in amongst our uh, tutor group and I'll let the other teachers show you what they've been doing. Thank you for coming along and spending a bit of time with me uh, in this creative environment and uh, if you'd like come and join our group which is 
the information is down at the bottom of the uh, content. So thank you and we'll see you later.